Hey friends, and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. I am Kate, and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing, and we learn more together along the way. Today, we are talking about the blind hem foot, what it does, when would you use it, and how to use it. So let's jump right in. blind hem stitch is something that you're going to use when you don't really want to see the hem or the the finished stitching on a hem. I like to use it on dress pants or specific skirt styles I like to use it on too. You can use it on sleeves if you don't want to see the hem on that, on jackets, that kind of thing. So the stitch that you're actually going to see on your machine it looks like a few lines and then a little triangle up and then three more lines and what that means is you're going to be stitching onto your hem the straight stitch and then that triangle just means it's going to jut over onto the the main portion of the garment not the hem portion but the main portion and it's just going to put a little tack into that and it's going to do that all the way along your hem so that when you fold out your hem you're now left with some vertical seams or vertical stitching I guess on the garment and that's gonna be your hem now you're gonna probably think well why would I want that that looks ridiculous or you might think that looks really cool I want to try it but when you actually use the matching color thread you're not gonna see it it's gonna be virtually invisible so it's really not gonna look like a hem at all and that's kind of the point of this whole thing so how do we do this well first off you need a blind hem presser foot now this probably came with your machine if you bought it new it's pretty standard uh, the two new machines that I have purchased came with one from what I read online they come with them so on the blind hem foot it has the guide with a dial on it that moves back and forth it might have another plastic piece mine has the white and the red so let's pop this on the machine and I'll show you how to use it okay so we have the presser foot on the machine here is that red guide and this is the set screw that's going to determine where this guide is sitting on the fabric. So here is the fabric and what I have done is just mimicked a hem here. So I folded it in and pressed about a quarter of an inch and then again another inch or so. So that's going to be our hem. Now, to do a blind hem stitch, we actually want to fold this back to the right side. So this is my wrong side of the fabric. This is my right side. I have the hem that we had folded to the wrong side flipped back on itself. Not quite all the way. I have about an eighth of an inch sticking up here of the hem what I'm going to refer to as the hem piece, this piece. And that's where we're gonna do our straight stitches on and then it's gonna jut over onto this part of the fabric. So what we're doing here now is we are stitching the straight stitch and then it's jutting over into the fabric, which is not the hem. So this is my hem, I'm stitching on the back side of it and then it's jutting up into this part here, which would be, you know, your pant leg or your sleeve, whatever you're working on. Your set screw is there to keep things even so that you can have this fold up against it, still stitching onto your hem and then having the triangular part jut up and just nip that fabric. So what you're left with is this kind of crazy looking stitch here. This is how it went through the machine. Obviously with matching thread, that would be pretty invisible. And then this was the underside when we were stitching. So this was the hem that's folded back. Now, if we open this up, clearly, again, with um, matching thread, this would be not noticeable, but you could definitely make it a part of your design. Over here, I had taken too much of the fabric. So back here, the triangle part, I went way too far in, and that is why it's not opening up nicely. So you definitely only wanna be catching a little tiny bit. And that's going to give you these little tiny stitches that are really not noticeable once you have matching thread. Thank you so much for watching and sticking to the end. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it made you not so intimidated by the blind hem foot. You can really use it in almost any application anytime you would hem something. I 
don't know how much I would recommend it on knits just because it isn't a stretch stitch per se, but it's great for a lot of woven garments. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!